Welcome back to my page, notjusthair.info. Now that we're done with bag four, they're gonna have you now um, section your mannequin's head into four quadrants. So they give you two minutes to do this. And try to keep your parts as neat as you can because they, they're looking for that kind of stuff. So you're just going straight down the head. And they want you to kind of like put your finger at where you want the part to meet at the bottom so you can kind of keep your line going straight. So it's all the way down the middle. I'll show you when I get to the sides exactly what I'm talking about. So right behind her ear right here is the the center part of the head where they separate the front from the back. So I keep my thumb down there so I know how, where to take that comb, the point of that comb to. So. And they only give you two minutes. So be mindful, but at the same time, try to be as neat as you can. And you see what I just did? Do not do that. That's out of bad habits of me not, you know, working. But you have to keep that comb in your hand. You cannot put it down. And do not stick it up under your arm either. Next up will be bag five which will be hair pressing and thermal hair straightening. You're going to demonstrate a soft press and a hard press. They are going to tell you which quadrant of the head to do it on. And you're allocated two and a half minutes for each procedure. Okay. So for this, we are going to use the left front quadrant. Now, that's what they were using when I went. Things could always change. They could switch it around and you could be using the, the right front quadrant. It really doesn't matter. You just have to pay attention to what they say when they tell you which quadrant to use. And we're going to demonstrate a soft press and a hard press. This is where your paper towel comes in because you're going to need your paper towel to pat your hot comb on to test it for heat before you use it on the person's head. So you lay that in front of you. So here's a traditional hot comb that goes on the stove. Like I said, you can use the electric one, but this one just keeps you without having cords and things in your way. This section here of the comb is the part that really straightens the hair. So when you're using the comb, you gotta kinda twist and bend your hand to get the, uh, the base of the comb as close to the scalp as possible without burning the client, of course. Okay, so we're going to demonstrate now the difference between a soft press and a hard press. Uh, so you can start out with a small section. It doesn't have to be very thick, actually. Probably the thinner, the better with this. this um, the thinner, the better with these mannequin heads because their hair is really crazy. Okay. Hot comb, see that? paper one side the other side half an inch away from the scalp twisting the comb holding the hair taut pull it through then other side repeating doing the same thing put the comb in half an inch away pulling it taut put it through that is the soft press the next one will be your hard press. I just used a different section of the model's hair. Same procedure. Pull it through, hold it here taut. Bend 
then the back side of it, same procedure, pull it through, hold it tight, then put the comb back on the stove on your heat with whatever your source of heat is. When you pull the comb up again, one more time in the front, pulling it through. One more time in the back, pulling it through. And there is your hard press. So your next procedure is going to be showing barrel curl and what they call a double barrel curl or a figure eight curl. We are working on the left back section for this demonstration. So let's get started. So you want to kind of take maybe smaller sections for this as well. Especially if you're dealing with a shorter hair mannequin. And the same that you do the same thing you do with your um, comb, hot comb, you do with your curling irons as well. So you press them on the paper on both sides to make sure there's no scorching. Put your curls in and you start working them down. You wrap your hair around once. Always staying close. Never allow your fingers to touch the metal. Once you get that last little piece of hair right there all the way in, you kind of let go. And it's a little harder with hair that's not, there's and no heat because that happens. You see how that just bounced open because there's no actual heat. So that makes it a little difficult to even show a barrel, but just keep doing it. If it does that again, just keep doing, repeating this until whoever's monitoring you sees what you're doing. And when they see that you get it, they'll tell you to move on, you know, that you're done. And then you'll wait for the next procedure. But. This is really kind of the idea when once you get it in, you're supposed to slide out. But again, if it's not hot, it's not going to allow you to do that. We're staying in the same section. So the next one is called um, the figure eight or the double back. See the little piece hanging right there? That is what, that is a double barrel curl. And that's what they're looking for. They're looking for that, your end piece to be in the middle between this side and that side. And this is actually hanging in the middle now. And then you keep going until it disappears. That's your double barrel curl or your figure eight curl, whatever you want to call it. And again, I'm going to have another video where the, the hair will be a little longer and you can maybe practice on a longer hair uh, mannequin or if you might want to just take a longer hair mannequin for that reason if you feel unsteady in that area. You know, that's strictly up to you. So, I hope that was helpful. Uh, please, if I uh, have any comments or suggestions, comment box below. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Have a good evening. Thanks for watching.